Sorry guys, that video got caught off because my um, alarm to put my son to bed just went off. Um, so, I think I was in the middle of telling you what step two was. So first, when we're comparing numbers in scientific notation, we're gonna compare the exponents. If the exponents happen to be the same, then we're gonna look at the coefficients. Okay, so sometimes we won't need to do step two if the exponents give it away. And in all four of these, we actually don't need step two because none of the exponents match. So we're only going to do step one. All right, example 25, we have 7.42 times 10 to the power 3 and 3.128 times 10 to the power 5. Remember we said that if the exponent is positive which both of these are, these are going to be really big numbers because we are going to be swooping to the right with a positive exponent. So all we have to do is look at whose exponent is greater. Well, 5 is greater than 3. So we're going to have this one eat the bigger number. So we're going to put a less than sign towards the 3. Okay. Another way to check this is to convert these to standard form. So 7.42 times 10 to the third would be three swoops to the right and then fill in with the zero. So this number is 7,420. And then this number is five swoops to the right. So one, two, three, four, five, fill in two zeros. And we have three, one, two, eight, zero, zero which makes this number 312,800. So if you look at these standard form versions, this number is definitely bigger than this number, which makes sense because we picked that as our symbol. Let's look at the one directly below it. So this time, this is where integers can get tricky. We have two negative exponents, okay? Remember that negative exponents make our number smaller. So instead of swooping to the right like we did here, we're swooping to the left. Okay, so 6.4 times 10 negative 2 would be two swoops this way. And then this one would be three swoops to the left. One, two, three, and fill in with zeros. Okay, so this is where place value understanding really comes into play. I have 64 thousandths here, and in this one, I have, this is my tenths place, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths, hundred thousandths, millionths. So I have 2,275 millionths. This is a really tiny number. So... This one is greater than this one. And we could have done a number line. Another strategy is a number line. And we could have compared exponents. So if I were to place negative 2 here on a number line, negative 3 could be here. Which one is greater in value because it's more right? Negative 2. Because remember, negative 2 is closer to 0, which is closer to the positive side of the number line. So the one with negative 2 is greater. All right, why don't you pause the video and try these two? And then once you're done trying them, then press play so you can check with me. All righty, so now we're going to check. This one, we both had positive exponents, so we just had to compare exponents, and 7 is greater than 4, so this one should be greater than. This one, if you remember the number line strategy, negative 1 is way more positive. It's way more to the right on the number line than negative 6, so this one is actually less than. You could have also quick-checked by doing the standard form 
So this one would have been 0.523. And then this one had to swoop six times. So that would have been 0 0.00000087, which is a really tiny number, much smaller than this one. So that would have also had the less than. Okay. For the word problems, okay, um, we have to figure out what it's asking us. So it says the length of, this should say one, cycle of visible light waves, which we did in science. What, what? Remember that visible light is the light that you see. It's the light waves that make up the rainbow. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Those are our visible light waves. So the length of it is 0 0.0000000000 0.0000000000002 seconds. Whoo! That is a teeny tiny number. What what? That's so small. Okay, and the directions say to write it in scientific notation. So remember the goal when converting is to get the decimal point between the first two non-zero digits. So there's only one non-zero digit here, but really there's a zero after there. And as long as the first number is not zero, the second one can be. So we want to get it after the two, okay? So be very careful. If you go really fast, like swoop, 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 you're going to make a mistake and miscount. So be very precise with your swoopings. That's a funny word, swoopings. So I'm going to count because if I don't count out loud, I'll lose track. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen swoops. And this is a really tiny number. So remember that tiny numbers have a negative exponent. Oh shoot, I already forgot how many swoops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So two to the negative fifteen. And then our label is seconds. If you want to write it as 2.0 times 10 to the negative 15 seconds, you can do that as well. Those are the same value and it doesn't really matter. All right, last one. The distance from the earth to the sun is 9.3 times 10 to the 7th miles. The distance from Mars to the sun is a little bit further. 2.28 times, oh shoot, I just gave it away. 2.28 times 10 to the eighth miles. First question is, which planet is closer? So that's part one. And the second says, by how many miles is it closer? And you have to give that answer in scientific notation. So I already told you, or if you know anything about our solar system, you would know that Earth is closer to the sun than Mars because it goes... Sun, Mercury, Venus.